Welcome back to Lily Clap Story. I'm Fire Nation and this is Project Zomboid. There's a woodpecker afoot. All that lays before you, Lily, is yours for the taking. Even that zombie. Azabinua Konichiwa. Hey, we're moving. <laughs> All right. Stupid jokes aside. I need to be careful up here. Welcome back. So we are five months and almost our first day into the fifth month. Watch where your character's walking. <laughs> um, so before that unfortunate event where we candy caned our ankle into our thigh bone, we were clearing. Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. I wish the character dot was something different than a red box. Um, do I have... Yes, I do. Get rid of this car. Alright, we were working on clearing out this area around here. So I think we're going to go up there and check that out. And try and make some progress in there. Hopefully I don't have to resort to fire again. But, um... If it comes to that, I'll burn them all down. First thing off the rip, I'm going to take care of old matey, potato, tradey, squatey. What else rhymes? With, I don't know, man. But I'm going to take this guy out because he's in my property and I don't like that. Putting holes in the sidewalk and crap, man. Get the hell out of here. Um, let me get ready. Get prepared. It's already 4.40 p.m. Get rested up, watered, and fed. And I'll reconvene with you in the morning. We'll go out there and raise some hell. <laughs> Just flamingo style. Boy. Good morning, survivors. On the... First day of our fifth month, 6,033 zombies dispatched via melee weapons. Um, another 1,434 via fire. Speaking of, I need to find... There we are. No, no, no. Just give me a brand new one. Uh, no, not primary. Another lighter. Perfect. Then we'll unfavorite and refavorite that. And I've got an insurance policy. Times three. <laughs> uh, just in case. You never know. I thought that we had got a whole crap load of food. And I put it all in that chest. And we're just going to take this station wagon out. But I can't for the life of me find it. I mean, we've got a bunch of, like, canned food and stuff. Um, zrip, zrip, zrip. Is it maybe in the back of this? I thought I emptied this. No. But we do need to make some space in here for potential loot that we find. So that's that's fine right there. The nails can stay in there. Mainly I want to scout. And um, if we find anything good, I'll definitely grab it. Like a propane torch would be nice. For God's sakes, game. First off, we got to clear out our neighborhood again. Hmm. Because these zombies never leave me alone, man. Got restocked up with short blunt weapons. Oh, these ball peen hammers are a force to be reckoned with, man. Oh, yeah. I should probably use up this half burnt lead pipe first, though. <laughs> Good night, ma'am. <laughs> I love doing that. Sneaking up on them, and then you get the, the lovely woof sound of them sucking to the ground like a magnet yeah you want it now what douche <laughs> i love that noise oh oh you want some too huh ma'am purple dress she had in oh you know that song the uh strawberry beret but hers is like the color of diarrhea <laughs> She had a diarrhea burn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was stocking some green V8 juice. I didn't even know they made like a plant matter V8 juice, but it was all green. It looked like diarrhea. Man, look at all the, the havoc I already wreaked up here. And there's still zombies everywhere. All right, let me have a look at the map, see where I'm at. This is where I'm trying to get up into cheer on the uh, left side of the train station. 
as we know, coming from that side, it was very busy. Very busy. This is... Oh, what was this? Blue building. Okay, so it's like a... Not something I need to loot. Or oh, maybe. It's an inn. Yeah. And we did a burn up here. Ooh, yes, that's right. We did loot these two, the Zippy Market and the Lickery Split. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. Don't mind me. Oh my god. I can tell by the frame rate <laughs> how busy it is up here. This is what I'm most interested in. And all oh, these storage units from the annotated map. Right, right. Ooh. And there's some sort of store right here. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, can you tell the game's having problems? Because <laughs> look how many zombies there are around here. And I'm zoomed out all the way. Alright, well, it looks like we are going to have to go to uh, the insurance policy. So we're going to equip that primary. You're going to go secondary. We're going to get the hell out of this death trap before it dies on us. That was scary. That was very scary. I don't know what percent that vehicle's at. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what percent that vehicle's at, but it is not doing hot. I should have checked that before coming out into this mayhem. Alright, but this looks like a good place to do some laps. And do some burning. I'm gonna get a little distance first. I get a little distance. Put. Come on, land, land, land. Ah! <laughs> Boom. All right, I got one. I think. I am going to preemptively equip another Molotov because of this. This is pretty worrying here. I had just canceled it. Quit primary. And we'll have to abuse these fences as needed. If I get, like, caught up... There we go. If I get caught up, I'll hop the fence. But I should be able to just circle around here. Lickery split-like. Alright, now I'm gonna cut sharp. And then when these guys start to burn off... Get it? Burn off? Or die down? I can just honk a horn on one of these cars. You don't actually have to hotwire it to use the horn. All right. My God. Let's get these guys. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I like to see, baby. We got Chef Boyar Clap in this house. Cooking zombies. Yeah, just wait, you're next. Let me get my trusty old lead pipe out just in case. Um, I don't know if I should really waste beta blockers. But I keep my melee weapon out just in case. One gets too close, I can smack him in the mouth. Alright, well I'll probably speed this up for you guys, so. I'm gonna shut my jibber jabber and get to burning.
right, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> so, I pretty much abandoned that car up there. Uh, there was still some loot in it, some nails and everything. I threw all three of my Molotovs, and as you would have seen in the video, I went all the way around the neighborhood, gathering up zombies. There are a lot up there. A lot. Way more than I thought were going to be there. But we are home, safe. So what, we had like 1,436 zombies via fire. Now, 1,835. And I don't even, it was still going when I left. I don't even think it'll count that. I'm going to get rested up and rearmed and I'll reconvene with you guys tomorrow. And I'm going to see if I can get that car back. Eventually, I'll be able to get it back. Um... I'm not going to leave all those nails and stuff in there, and there were some hatchets and all that, but let me get rested up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, survivors. All right, so 1,835 via fire, 6,064 via weapon, five months, almost three days in. I just need to grab some water. I might take a different vehicle up there. I don't know. Nah, it's not that far. We can just hoof it on our Lamborghinis. And also, I want to see if I drug anything back here. It is raining pretty heavy, so... That was working against me with the fire. Uh, the zombies burn no problem, but, like... Anything that would catch on fire on the ground would go out fairly quickly. I'm just coming up here because I think I left a bunch of bottles. Empty glass bottles. Yeah. There we go. Three more. That wine from Lickery Split, that store, came in clutch. It's been helping me sleep, get to preserve my sleeping tablets a little more. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter, but, um, and also we get to make Molotovs, which is nice. Um, yep, I've got some rip sheets, so let's just grab three, and we've got plenty of gas, I don't even know how much is still left inside of the Gigamart, but it's probably a lot. Alright, and we'll put two of these bad boys into our backpack. We'll keep one on us. Equip the lighter secondary, just preemptively. Alright. Oh, it's snowy too. Ooh. Ooh. That one's got a... a rifle maybe or a shotgun that zombie do a little home defense before we venture out i don't know that car might just be dead to the world <laughs> for all i know i was trying my best and it's got ammo nice i was trying my best to get it back because like i said there is some loot in it but man there was so many zombies I am so lucky that I bailed out of that thing when I did. All right, let's unload you. Not going to speed up time because this is scary. I might have to switch to my padded pants too. Oh, they were in the car. Ah, that's right. All right. Uh, this shotgun, I'm just going to drop it. They don't degrade. Clothing degrades, I'm pretty sure, on the ground, but... Weapons and stuff do not. At least as of yet. To my knowledge. Alright. Put this flashlight away. It got crazy towards the end of that last night, man. Woo! There were a couple times where I was like, I, I've messed up. Because I wasn't seeing an out to get away from the zombies. Hold on here. I just kept getting deeper and deeper into the zombie land. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm so glad that I made it out of there. So now we're going to go up there a little more cautiously. I just don't want zombies gathering anywhere near my base. So we're going to get rid of them. Ooh, a new lighter. Thank you. It's got a 22. Don't want it. It is steadily snowing now. Hello, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, oh, the snow. Look how pretty it is. The snow in Project Zomboid. We've finally experienced it. 
Let's just hope it doesn't get cold. I'm glad that the rain quit. Now we won't be wet walking through the uh, cold in our Lamber feeties. Yeah, I just came through here last night. Obviously, those zombies couldn't have followed me because they're on this side of the fence, but old mate here, and there is some burned debris. I don't know which burn that was from, but... Oh. Yeah, I don't need zombies following me up into these corridors. So, would you please go bye-bye? <laughs> I believe that parking lot that the that we were in is right up here. For all no, I know, there could be a whole host of these guys sitting in that parking lot. Because I honked the horn on a car like a good ten times. And sometimes it takes a it takes a while for the zombies to come in. But we do need to be careful going up here. There's the lickery split. Doesn't seem too bad yet. I don't know if fire keeps going out of render distance or, or whatnot, but I'm hoping whatever was up here that was on fire is dead now. Or dead again. God, it sounds like a swarm of angry bees when they do that. They make that noise. I can't even make that noise. Usually I'm pretty good at imitating noises, but not with my infected lung, which I'm feeling a lot better today from feeling a lot better. Ooh, there's another shotgun. Boy, we've really have have had been having to God. Can I talk? We've really had to scavenge the shotgun ammo on this run. It is just non-existent and loot. Especially with burritas on like normally people are like yeah, I don't play with burritas on because it's too OP You get given weapons and ammo like it's going out of style but Not on this run On my Raven Creek run on Adrian. Yeah, definitely. There's another Mona na knock Batten Excuse me, ma'am you're interrupting dang three shots you're interrupting my looting here I would really appreciate it if you would just don't zombie you best shut your mouth when you're talking to Lily yes it's got ammo too let's unload this bad boy oh we're hungry well good thing I got some peaches on me or some pears something all right and this thing is not in the best condition. It's not awful, but it's not great. So I'm just going to ditch it. I have a bunch of shotguns at home. Just make sure. I thought I saw. Yeah, right there. There's some food right there. And some backup leather gloves. Were those? Yep. Yeah. Cream condition. Just commandeer old mate's fruit cocktail here and it's chili have ourselves a snack oh it was pineapple that I had you know I used to really hate pineapple I'm gonna toss this on the uh, it is on the floor I used to really hate pineapple but I've grown to like it I've grown to like it except on pizza pineapple has no earthly business belonging on a pizza how dare you disrespect the the god's pie with that. I'm just kidding. You, oh my god. Yeah, there's still a lot up here. If you like pineapple on your pizza, to each their own. I don't. <laughs> I do not. Also, have you guys ever had a uh, barbecue sauce pizza? Or an Alfredo sauce pizza? Super good. Super good. Alright, we're going to try and go in here. Ghost Recon style, really quietly. 
and retrieve this vehicle. Yeah, those guys are already kind of on to me. I don't really want to start another fire. My god, look at this place. Just devastation at its finest. Nope. Back where um I used to live in Idaho, we had a place called Gertie's. And they had, it was like a pizzeria. And you would pay and sit down, it was all you can eat. And they would bring out pizzas and, you want some of this, do you want some of that? Yes, no, yes, no. And then later in the night, if you saved room like a good boy, they would bring out dessert pizzas. Like uh, raspberry crumb pie pizzas. The Oreo pizza, which was my personal favorite. We're gonna crouch. Oh my god. That Oreo pizza was freaking amazing. I don't... It was like crumbled up Oreos on top of um, the Oreo insides. And then on top of a piece of bread. It was so freaking good. Same with the... Uh, the, the raspberry crumb pie pizza. It was also really good. I'm a fat kid at heart. I just work really hard and I keep my weight down. But in all honesty, I'm pretty chubby. <laughs> I Look, I can't. You put a pack of Oreos in front of me and I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I like to eat. Is that so wrong? I can feel your judgmental thought. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright. Might actually need some beta blockers for this. Just to make it faster. Also, we got old mate there with the riot suit on. He might have something I want. Still, five months in. No hide, no hair of a propane torch. Nor katana. There's a gun purse. Take the ammo. Um, riot boots and armor. It's good. Don't get me wrong. The riot stuff is pretty good. I will take the helmet, I think. But the movement penalties on it are not good. I like to stay quick and agile. That's how I like to play. Is this rain or sleet? I wonder. Because we're not getting wet. Or is it just hard snow? Is this telling me? No. I want this vehicle back, but I'm not jumping in it with that here. There's still fire going! <laughs> There's still fire going. I don't... It, is that actual fire or is that a glitch like a graphical glitch nope it's still going <laughs> full 24 hours later still fire burning up here oh boy these houses are gone yep these houses are gone i'm just gonna leave that the way it is i'm not going over there I'm going to try and drag these guys out a few at a time. Got to really watch my back here because there was a fairly big group down that way. Yeah, if they just all want to sit there and burn, more power to them. I also do not like this bush. Blocking my view. Get. Get out of here. Nope. Zip-rap. 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 With the CPAP. And driving a Cadillac. Oh. Yeah, those guys are making their way closer to me. I don't like it. The zombies in this game always know where you're at. That's my assumption. They always know where you are. But they won't lock on to you unless you give them a reason. Sight, hearing. But they always know where you are, where you are, and they slowly inch closer until they get a reason to attack you. These aren't zombies; they're 
supercomputers. Or super smart 200 IQ indie stone zombies. With super sledgehammer hands. Get out of here. Ah! Even though I'm the Fire Nation, I am very afraid of fire in this game. I am completely shell-shocked from death by microwave. I do believe that was Cody Portier's story. Get. I, uh... Accidentally, I had my microwave by the garbage can, and I accidentally put a tin can or something into it. And then when I was tired and fumbling through the inventory options, I turned the microwave on. And yeah, I mean, you could probably guess what happened from there. My whole base caught on fire. And then I caught on fire trying to rescue my loot because I didn't want everything to die in a horrible flaming death that I had worked so hard. In hindsight, I should have just gotten out of there. But, yeah, he died. A horrible flaming death. But they're still on fire over there. Jeez. Molotovs are just the gift that keeps on giving. Much like the clap. <laughs> God. I can't believe we got that last name. The Clap. The Clapinator. It's been such a good joke. Alright. I'll take those happy pills. Those are always good to have on stock. On stock. Is that it from over here? No. Also. Oh. Mannequins. I thought those were zombies. There's a clothing store. Wow. Yeah. Nice try, bud. Nice try. Lunge at me from out of the shadows. That looks like a diner. I'm just trying to scope things out. Ah! Yeah, no, see, I don't like those trees, man. Why do the trees hide zombies like that? That's so... Bull crap. There was this one time in Riverside when I was... Uh, before I made videos on this game. I was walking down this the main strip trying to get to Enigma Books. Yeah, this engine is almost shot before we get into trouble. Let me grab the valuable things out of it. Uh, but anyways, I was walking past um, some of the shops and trees just like that one that that zombie was in. And I stopped for a second to pull up my map and I got nibbled in the back by a zombie coming out of a tree because I couldn't see him. Oh my god. Still a lot... Still a lot of zombies up here. Good thing they're far enough from my base that it really doesn't matter. They can hang out up here as much as they want. I'll just keep burning them to the ground. Alright. Let me have a look so I'm not driving around needlessly aggroing these guys. That's a nice looking van in there. Wait, isn't that the auto repair shop place that we cleared out? How are the zombies back in there? Also, this isn't nice. This isn't good right here. You guys are actually fairly close to where I live. And it's getting foggy. Yep. We got the vehicle and got back to Dodge at a good time. This thing's on its last leg, though. The engine, I can hear it. It's just like, clunk, 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 clunk. The big old jalopy now. A jalapeno. All right. Now that we have this home. Oh, God, and the screen's shaking. Probably got zombie innards stuck to the suspension. That's why it's shaking. Now that we got this home. I'm going to put the loot back in it. Because I'm pretty sure those zombies are following me. Alright. Let's turn it off. That's enough. Enough to not be weighed down. Um, let's get this out of our inventory. Just in case. 
I do not want any mishaps near base. Good night, ma'am. Man, it's been so long since I've seen a katana. What's a guy got to do to get one? I used to come across them fairly often around the second and third month, but... Just not anymore. Not anymore at all. I'm not sure why. But... I gotta edit this video and get it up to you guys later today so you can watch. Thank you to all the new subscribers and welcome to this thing we call the Fire Nation. I am your host. <laughs> Fire Nation, that's Lily Clap. This is a Gigamart. If you find yourself enjoying the videos, leave a like and consider subscribing. You are one click away from joining the Fire Nation army, and together we will rule the apocalypse of Knox County. If you're just tuning into this episode, go on back to episode one of the Louisville Trials. This is a whole playlist for uh, our adventures in Louisville. We spawned in. The first couple survivors died horribly. I am not at fault for that. You can call the zombie hotline anonymous. I am not at fault for that. <laughs> what happened to them stays in Louisville, okay? Right now, it's Lily Clap's time to shine. Her time in the spotlight. Five months, three days, 6,157 zombies dispatched via weapon, 1,853 via fire, and 23 via car, I think. I don't know. I'll never understand that mid- that menu <laughs> my arm itches all right i'm tired i'm gonna get out of here i'm sick my head's pounding i will see you guys in the next one have a great day out there all you beautiful people so